Rage Mania. Um, it is about 6 a.m. Uh, I am ready for work. Got my neon on. Woo woo! Today is just a normal day at work. There's nothing special going on. It's just craziness. Um, I'm gonna help out wherever is needed. So that's kind of my goals for the day. Uh, oh, I got to interview a bunch of people. We're we're hiring um, part-time employees at our site right now, which we do pretty much year round. And uh, so I got a bunch of interviews this morning because I'm the hiring manager for that. But other than that, there's not too much exciting going on. So I got about 20 minutes before I have to go to work. So I'm in a stitch. Dogs are driving me crazy, but what else is new? I'm extremely tired. Let's do a sunburn check, okay? Ugh. Yeah, it still is not the best. Look at my nose. It's all shiny in the light, but uh, anyway. Wear your sunscreen, people. Just wear it. Put it on, wear it. I mean, I put sunscreen on my face every single day, but I obviously missed my body. Yeah, so. Hopefully I'll get a few stitches in, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, this is a first year garden, and to be fair, I did not till up the ground enough, and there's a lot of grass. But if you come over here and look, you can see some of the potatoes coming up, the broad leaves. I would love to spray this garden with Roundup to kill the grass, but I don't know if it'll affect the potatoes. It probably will. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-two, at least twenty-two visible potato plants. I planted 70, so we'll see if they all come up. They might, some of them are late. 23, I see this is more 24, they're, they're coming up. So these are red, red Pontiacs and another variety of red potato. So we're gonna have some potatoes, but we'll see how it goes. I also tilled our compost into this from last year. There's about 60 pounds of compost that I tilled in. I wish I would have tilled it more. There's 25 potato right there. Probably need some water. I missed it with a sprinkler. And then, if you mosey on over here. How many hoses are there on the ground? Two. This, I tilled up this year. <clears throat> oh my God. Penny! Good girl. I did a better job telling this up, there's, there's not as much grass coming back up, so that's good. But these are tomatoes and peppers, and that's it. More tomatoes and peppers. You'll see the plants, they're putting on leaves. They're standing up strong. I gave them some water today. Good 30 minutes of watering. Nothing has died. They're all looking pretty good. There's some yellow leaves, but they were there when we bought them. I think we're going to have a good crop. Looks good, babe. The ground has definitely worked better. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, this is the old garden. Ignore the bird carcass. Bird our, carcass. Our little topper. Our little dog likes to carry dead animals. Notice the level green grass. Oh yeah, let's get like, that's a good close up of the grass. That's a lot of work. That's beautiful. Also my responsibility. Who husband. has seen a better lawn than that? As husband, this is my job. So we go over here, and you can see in relatively neat rows. Penny. Penny! You can see our onions and our squash. Onion, squash. Butternut squash. I plant the squash in the edge so the vines will grow out onto the grass and mm -hmm. have more room and more sun. Mm -hmm. There are a few, and I fear that they've been already nibbled on by animals. There are a few cabbage plants. 
also further back, but I don't know if they're getting enough sun. Yeah, this is back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is back in the grove. So there's a lot of trees and that's an old deer stand and dogs. There's some rhubarb back there, which we don't like. Here's some firewood that eventually I, may, I might cut that up, split it and then sell it on a Craigslist. Yeah. But for that, I need a chainsaw. But look at this picturesque location that we live in. Beautiful. There's our house. This is part of the log that we cut down and there's our fire pit. So we can we can sit out by the fire pit and watch the combines go by. If you come a little bit closer to the log. You'll notice the original sunbeam thermometer. That's an antique. Is still on that log. So then you can tell how what are the dogs doing? You wonder why copper the, gets ticks. The elevator. And if you look across the yard to the east. There is a huge raspberry patch over there that we usually get about a half a gallon of raspberries every year. Asparagus too. You're a good farmer, babe. <clears throat> That's just a start. Show this. Uh, this is uh, the men will be interested in this. I had them put the wedge down in front of this log. It's a good wedge. So that it will not roll downhill. Well, thank you, Floss Tube. I hope we're in frame. Um, I don't know if we'll have any more stitching tonight. I just found out that I'm going to have to work some really odd hours the next couple weeks because it's our busy time. Um, honey, this is not that kind of video. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful stitchy day and I will catch back with you soon. Bye. <laughs>